So in this part 3 of uh, Obubble tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload files from your computer into the server. So that way, like, that way you're not trying to, like, upload your files online and having to download it from, and having to go through all of that. So you can just directly upload your files from your computer into the server so you can set up your live stream there. So in part 2 of this tutorial, tutorial, I showed you all about the screen, how to use these buttons and things like that. Now, now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the files and folders. To start with, you'll click on files and folders. Oops. So now, what I just did, or I clicked on D. Uh, this one won't do anything, so just don't click on it. Uh, so what you want to do is click on C. Now, don't worry about any of these files, but the users. The users is what you want to click on. The other ones are not something you need to worry about. So click on users. And here, don't worry about anything but public. Click on public. Alright, here, um, I would say you can upload your files in any of these folders. Um, and also, just just to, just to let you know that it doesn't, just because this says music here, it doesn't mean you have to upload your music files there. Or just because it says pictures here, it doesn't mean you have to upload your pictures there. Just open up one folder that you want to, and we'll go from there. So, for me, I usually just upload my files into the video so I'll click on videos as you can see here I have some files here already but when you first open it you'll only see the desktop.ini I don't even know what that is so just leave that alone it's not something that we have to worry about just leave it alone so now before we start uploading or downloading any files let me just show you what these buttons do uh, real quick so this button right here it just lets you go up a folder so from this folder we'll move up a folder go up 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 and eventually we'll back we're back to the beginning so let me just go back to where I was so users public videos here here we are so that's what it does now this button right here it refreshes so maybe if you're having a problem or something or maybe you just uploaded files and it's not showing up maybe you can you can click on refresh and see if it works and that's what it does. Next up is this button, it creates new folder. If you click on it, it, it creates a new folder. That's what we use to create a new folder. As you can see here, I've already, I already have some folders, but just for this video, I'm going to create some more folders. So let me go ahead and click on it. Now to create a new folder, you just click on it. And you can name it whatever you want. Uh, for example, my songs Moose songs, okay, whatever. I guess that if that makes sense. My song. So I just created that folder. Now, if you want to upload maybe songs in Moose songs folder, you can you can click on it, and you would upload your files there. But we haven't gotten to that part yet. We're just creating folders right now. So that's how you create folders. And the other way is, what do you call it? Um, right click. You can right click or just like click tap with two fingers and this menu comes up it's about the same thing as you see up here so you can click on new folder and create it like that and now this one deletes whatever you have selected if you have selected a file or a folder if you click on it it's gonna delete it so if you delete a file you can't undo it but if you uploaded the files from your computer into the server you probably have the folders on your computer so you can just re-upload it um, but anyways, that's what that button does. Next up is the cut button. I really don't know what it does. I think I thought it was supposed to like delete the files somehow or something like that. But I mean, I don't see it doing anything. Um, so I guess you can just leave it. All right, the next one is copy. Okay, so the next button is copy. Basically, if you wanted to copy a file and move it to a different folder or move it somewhere else, you would use that function right to copy and so maybe let me just copy this folder that I selected and now let me paste it which is the button right next to it, it says paste so if you want to paste you would use the button right next to it click on paste and then it creates a new file copy of one same thing for files if you copy them it's gonna be like that too so this one is for copying files and folders and this one is for pasting files and folders. Alright, next up is upload and the next one is download. 
So now we get to the part where we upload files. But first, let me just create a few files real quick. So uh, let me go ahead and rename these real quick in a way that they make sense. So for example, so when you're setting up your live stream or when you're uploading your files, you probably want to organize them into maybe songs, um, pictures, and videos, and things like that. So for example, this one I'm going to put, this one's going to be for songs, vid songs. All right, I'm going to rename this so it is vid pictures. And one more vid videos. All right, so just ignore the vid. It's just so it doesn't get mixed up with the other files that I've made. So there's vid songs, pictures, and videos. Anyway, so let's go ahead and upload some files into the vid into the videos folder so you would open up the folder right and click on upload so you can either choose the file by clicking on this and it will, this will come up and you will choose whatever file you can also by the way select multiple files just you just can't select the whole folder so you just can't like click on this folder on the example folder and just upload the whole thing you can't do that. You'll have to select, but you can select multiple files like this. I like to drag and drop instead, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the example folder. So for so for example here, this would not work because there is a folder. There's because I'm trying to copy a folder. Just watch this. Yeah, it leaves the folder out because it just it just won't work like that. So you'll have to select these three files. If I wanted to upload all these files here, I would upload these three files and then and then upload the next two files. By the way, if you select those files and then select two select other files, it replaces them with the new files you selected. But anyway, so let's go ahead and upload just these three files. And up here it will show you uh, how much time there's left until they upload. Oh, this one's really long. I probably chose a big, long file. Five gigabytes. Well, that's a lot of... Uh... You know what? I'm going to cancel that. Cancel this. Because uh, that's, that's going to take a while. Wow. So I'm going to upload... Well, if you're trying to upload your files, though, you can just wait. But since I'm just doing it for the video... I'm going to choose a different video instead. I'm just going to choose this one. Upload. So that would be that so that's how you up, would upload your files. Now, if I go back to the videos folder here. So if I wanted to upload like pictures or something, I would click on here. Um I mean it you don't have to upload pictures just because the folder says pictures. Songs, I have so I have a playlist right here. Drag and drop, upload. Yeah, now you just have to wait for a while. Uh, you know what? I'm going to cancel the videos that I'm uploading because they're going to take a while. Um, Which is that one I think so let just let the songs upload. Alright, here's one of the files. They're done. So these are the four files that I songs that I just downloaded. Now just one more before I uh, move to a different section. Um, if you want to download this these files back into your computer, uh, like if you wanted to download all the all four of these, then you would go back to here, select the folder and click on download. Click on download and it would uh, pop up with options where you want to save it in the desktop, downloads, or wherever you want to save it. You would select that and it will save it there. Or if you just want to uh, download one file, then just select one file and click on download. Now, once you have set up your files up here, once you have downloaded stuff, of course, if you want to download more stuff, you can always just come back here and do that. Now, 
like, I just uploaded a playlist of songs, like four songs. Now, if you want to be able to play those songs, you'll need VLC Media Player. OBS will not just OBS won't work uh, for playing like a folder of songs or a playlist of songs. So to do to be able to do that, you'll need VLC Media Player. So basically, you'll just download VLC Media Player from the internet, and so when you're setting up the stream. Uh, in the sources here, you would add a source. Click on VLC Video Source. By the way, this is after you have downloaded VLC Media Player and gone through the installation process. After that, it should work and it should pop up as a source option. Click on VLC Video Source. Test example testing. That's what I'm gonna name it. You can name it whatever you want. Click on OK. Now here. If you just want to um, add just one file, then you can click on Add Files. Or if you want to do, actually, if you just want to select one file at a time, you can do it through this. Or if you want to do just do the whole folder, you can click on Add Directory, which is what I'm going to do right now. So, to access the files that you downloaded into the server from your computer, uh, you'll click on. For me, I can access it in the Quick Access up here, uh, but it might not work for you so you just click on this PC local disk users public public videos um, and here they are I'm gonna choose vid songs so you would select the folder maybe you have songs or videos that you're trying to play you would select it and it will come up right here so in this folder right here, there are like four songs that we uploaded earlier. Um, you can choose to loop the playlist or shuffle the playlist and you would click on OK and it would just work like that. Anytime you want to access those files that you downloaded from your computer into the server, if you want to access those files from the server, you just go to the file explorer and local disk, users, public public videos um, and here they are all of the files that we uploaded if you put them in a different folder then you probably want to go to that folder and not follow what I just did just know that you can't you can't directly upload the files into the server through the through the files explorer you'll have to do it in the files and folders just like I showed you so this has been the part three Maybe in part four, I'll show you how to how to set up a stream like uh, like Chill Cow or something like that, where you have a radio like a playlist of songs playing, and it displays the song on the stream and the name of the song on the stream and things like that. But anyways, that's it for this video. See you next time.